What's up, friends? This is the Western Rise Versa hat. What do you think about it? There's some bits from their marketing. It's waterproof. There's a multi-layer stretch fabric here that's combined with bonded, taped seams and an advanced durable water repellent. It is packable and crushable. Do you see this? Look at this thing. It crushes down. And I think if it was left crushed too much, you would get some funky bill stuff. It's got a dense EVA foam brim and a wrinkle resistant, the material itself is wrinkle resistant. Okay, it uses a four-way stretch fabric. That wrinkle resistant fabric apparently is also four-way stretch and it's got this sweatband on the inside that I found out is made out of polyester, but it feels really just smooth and and like nice around the head. You know, when the head is sensitive and there's too much stimulus on the head, it can be a little annoying. But this polyester, whatever it is, sweatband feels epic. And it is also sustainably made. Blue Sign certified factories and processes and materials are what's used in this. Blue Sign is a way of, of certifying, you know, it being sustainable, eco-friendly. It's not just greenwashed. Do you know this term greenwash where it's like everybody's selling things that are good for the environment now, but it's like not everybody's actually helping the environment. It's actually just a marketing point now. Western Rise have tended to do a great job with this kind of thing, but they've got blue sign fabrics on this. I don't know if all their other stuff is, maybe it is. Okay, now I recently also got this hat from Dayfair, the modern Dayfarer hat, which features the similar kind of water resistant, really durable, techy, clean, sleek kind of look, but it has a magnetic back. Can you see this? It's kind of nice, how do? They work. Okay, so here is the Western Rise hat. I have to be honest, I really like this. I'm gonna tell you my personal thoughts in a minute. And then here is, I gotta put my like little hair bun back here because I haven't had a haircut in a while, you know, coronavirus. Here is the Dayfarer one, a little more of like a, a little more of a regular, like a baseball guy hat. A little, much firmer of a bill. This isn't crushable in the same way. It's a nice bill. You can't really flatten this out. So it's a little more like, hey, Tiger, how's it going on? It's a great dad hat, great like American man hat, you know, but it's made by a German. So you do the math on that. I got this a few weeks ago. I started wearing it. I was like, damn, I really like this. This is great. Simple, clean, modern, sleek look. Okay, then this came. Will from Western Rise reached out to me. He's like, oh, we've got a hat. Can I send you one? <laughs> and I was like, okay. And when it came, I, I wasn't expecting much because I was like, that's weird. The, what's his name from Dayfair just sent me a hat. And then they sent this and I opened it and I was like, I started wearing it. I was, first of all, I was smitten by the, by the feel of it. You feel the texture. On both of these, this one a little bit more. Obviously this has the magnetic buckle on the back, which feels really great in its own way. It also sometimes, because my hair's long, sometimes it'll get a little flumpy and frumpy. Sometimes it'll flop off, right? But I can also very easily, you know, get this on like this. It's just that all my hair gets stuck in between and it's not a great seal. This one has a very simple sort of river cap back thing where it's just this like we're just opening that up you know nice it doesn't come off it doesn't come off by itself right you've got a nice little strap that folds away inside the back here so extremely clean but when i first put it on i was feeling the materials and i was like whoa that feels good and then i felt the inside the sweatband on the inside i was like whoa that feels nice and then something about the way that the brim because it's this soft EVA foam, the way that it's basically however tight you have the hat on determines how much of the curve you end up getting. And I gotta be honest, I, and my wife agrees, I just like the way this hat looks on me. I like the way it feels on me. My wife thinks it looks good, so I'm a little bit like, guess you just found a hat that like is your go-to hat, you know? Like I like to switch it up a little bit, Here's a couple of my favorite hats right now. This one I've been using a lot. This is like a five panel river hat. Again, made from some really good material that's actually kind of, uh, 
It's actually kind of water resistant as well, but just simple, a little fatter, like stiffer brim. I like it because it actually makes me feel like I might be a cool guy. <laughs> I can go out to the brewery and not just be a dad. I'll link to that one below at this time code. This is my favorite right now, but I have not had the balls to wear it recently. <laughs> it's from Ramdas. It's Be Here Now, his Be Here Now Love Serve Remember Foundation, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, and this idea of Be Here Now, Ram Dass's famous book, Be Here Now, which is not where I would recommend starting with Ram Dass. The audiobook Experiments in Truth is where I would go. Any of you, any of you watching this could totally plug that into your life on Audible. I'll link to it below and you'll be glad for it. I think you'll be glad for it. I think he's a great speaker and a wise person who has had a ton more experience than I have. R.I.P. Ram Dass. But Be Here Now on the red... <laughs> MAGA color hat. I have had a blast <laughs> with this one. Not because I'm a MAGA guy at all, just because it's like, it's so incendiary. I don't know why I'm always ruffling feathers, man. Bradley Mountain is like hand shucked, like wax canvas, over designy kind of, kind of uh, heritage bags and backpacks and stuff. They have, they have some good hats. This one's, this has seen some wear and tear. Verve. Verve is a coffee maker in Santa Cruz, and now they're all over the place. I love this hat. I just, I've always loved this hat. Leather on the back, but you see how fr how frumpy and gross it's gotten with use. The whole goal with a hat like this is that it doesn't do, both of these, is that it won't do that. You're not gonna see the same kind of sweat wear and tear. I haven't used it in really hot climates yet. I will say, that I have used it and it's got, San Diego just got really chilly right by the beach over the last week. And I've actually put this on and felt it warm me up quite a bit. Like it's felt nice, but it doesn't feel like the kind of material that's gonna feel hot when you're in hot climates, right? These kinds of things, this is what Western Rise is known for, making stuff that is multi-purpose, it's super utilitarian, very modern and clean and sleek and the kind of thing that you can wear everywhere, whether it's hiking on a trail or going to the boardroom, you know, to show off your business papers, man. So I realized that their Kickstarter went live. Right now you can still get this for a little bit of a discount of what it's gonna be. It's, I don't think it's gonna be, either neither of these are cost prohibitive. You know, for me spending anywhere from 30 to 60 or 70 bucks on a hat, if it's a hat that I'm gonna wear almost all the time, if it's my one hat, I use hats because my hair is, you know, I don't know. Some of you are real grown-ups and you can't use hats all the time. But having that hat that as you're going out the door, you don't have to worry about your hair, you don't have to worry, you're just in dad mode. This, I think a lot of you are gonna really like this, so I wanted to let you know my thoughts on it and just because I can't believe how, how surprisingly, I, like, it's a little bit weird. Like I really like Western Rise's jacket, the Airloft, I'll link to that below. I did a review of that recently. I have de I have decently liked their diversion pant and the evolution pant because these are these are very technical clothing manufacturing going on here, right? These pants do really interesting stuff. I'll link to those my reviews on those below. But this is one of the this and the jacket are for sure some of the products that I'm like, dude, how are these people just making things so perfectly for me? Just for my age, where I'm at in life, the lifestyle that I'm living. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be in that same boat just because, you know, <laughs> people like me are on YouTube. Okay, check out the links below. When you use my links, it supports this channel and the work that I'm doing here. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thanks for putting breakfast on the table for my family. If you like what we're doing here, getting into modern minimalist goods that won't let you down, the kind of thing where you don't have a house full of shit. You have very few things, but the things that you have, you love and you have everything you need. If you're into that, feel free to support me on Patreon. Reach out in the messages there. Let me know what you're working on, what you're thinking about, where you're at in life. But I appreciate all you patrons for supporting me and just general casual viewer of the web. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please use my links below. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, be yourself. Everybody else is taken.